thing. He can go in out uh, out of the battle. Plus, he can deal that much of a damage to yep. a person or like to a, to a particular hero. Yes, yeah. exactly. And next ban for DD No Limit is, is Jawhead. Jawhead. Mm, Jawhead, one of the popular bans here in yeah. the here in Mobile Legends, of course. And the thing is, if you if, if you don't want to play up against a Jawhead or just ban him, and if you don't want to play mm. Jawhead, yeah. of just course. Yes. Just try to play, you know, because the thing with Jawhead is it's a it has so much contribution in team fights. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of CC involved with Jawhead. Also, there is a, a potential for you to toss your opponents or your teammates exactly. to a team fight or out of the fight, yeah. or even when you try to team fight against a Jawhead, you're gonna be disrupted because mm -hmm. of the crowd control that he does have. But you do have the Hellcurt, and of course, the Fanny always banned in the meta. That will say that will mean of course that someone will get in their hands on a l on a martis and they mm. do get it martis here for kirito oh, the thing is for hellcurt um compared comparing all the matches that we've seen today and the matches that we've seen yesterday is like for for hellcurt he's just going like trying to split push every lane that mm. he wants yeah he's not trying to stay inside a battle or that he's not trying to help his friends yeah. to, <laughs> uh, to to put up a team fight just trying to split push just trying to get something out of the map exactly yeah. and the thing is look at that kirito Ki kirito getting that um oh, martis plus harley and that show for helena and ven meanwhile here in the dd side it is lancelot and, and Akai. And Akai. Ooh. This is a nice pick here. Could be a Digi. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Kagura as well as the Angela. Of course, the choice here for DD No Limit. Let I would just see. like to say that. The setup is yeah. nice for DD No Limit. That's actually. true. Because the thing is, Chico can do an ultimate plus a follow up there by, by, D by Daniel or, or, or that Lancelot also. Oh, for sure. The the thing with the Angela plus the Akai is that it provides so much team fight as well as so much response when you do when you try to split the map like what you're saying about Hellcurt the way to play Hellcurt is start to split the enemy try to get something out, out of the other side of the map mm -hmm. but if you do have the Angela it's quite the opposite place that we mm -hmm. will have if you employ the Angela because the thing with Angela is she can go to any part of the map or to support his, any of his teammates from a, from a long distance and that will mean that there is there is no easy pickoff that can happen to DD No Limit this time and we're close out with and yeah. now, as you can yeah. see, Cyclops plus Grok pick there Oof. for Team IG. Meanwhile, here in DD, it's Angela just waiting for the last last guy. Oof. Maybe, um, actually, tank for, for DD No Limit, they can actually pick like one Hayabusa, Hayalos. I guess. Or wow, Lapu Lapu. I, I think they're just hovering through it. They still have time. Oh, they will oh, lock Lapu -Lapu. down. Lock, Lapu Lapu is now locked in. And Ooh, for IG, they have Mortis, they have Grok, they have Cho, they have Cyclops for that <clears throat> for the massive damage, for the massive burst damage. Yeah. Plus that Harley also. But meanwhile, in DD, they have Lancelot, they have Akai, they have Kagura, they have Lapu Lapu, Pinoy Pride, and, and of Angela. course, Angela. <laughs> well, Kine Pride, but yes, indeed. well, I think it's more about the luck. That I think that the decision for DD No Limit is that they might not have enough <laughs> crowd control for the yeah. Akai, and they might ha look for some sort of control mm. coming out from the Labo Labo. Definitely a big fighter, but it begs, it begs the team DD No Limit to constantly fight because the Labo Labo. The problem with him is that he can. He can fall off as far as uh, mm. scaling goes during the latter stages of the game. But of course, during the early stages of the game, they do have a lot of team fights. So maybe it will be enough to control the Martis, but we'll, ha we'll have to see. It's, it's always going to depend on execution. All right, so going in for predictions, who's going to pick? Oof. I'm going to go for the Dino Limit this yeah, time. Yeah, me too. I like the Lapu. Uh, kind of like the Lapu Lapu, just as, as was the Kai. It's easily punishable, but if you do, uh, if you do pull it off during the start mm. of the match, you can easily take the game. In just a few minutes, I would say. All right, so for predictions, also, I'm going to go with DD no, Limit. DD no Limit. Why? Because they have the complete package. They have the support. They have the, they have the burst damage. They have the assassin. They have the tank. They have everything inside their package for them to win and for them to destroy IG. But the thing is, for Invictus Gods, I know that they won't let that happen. And it's all up to the strategies that they're going to do. And I'm actually excited on who's going to win. But for me, in terms of pickup, I, I will go to Invictus Gods because of the okay, burst damage they're going to give. Because of that Hardy and that Cyclops. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, pickup potential. There's a lot of burst potential coming out. But then again, uh, when it comes down to team fights, it's mm -hmm. gonna be on the hands of DD. No, no limit to 
you know, easy, they, because their lineup is easier to execute when they go for team fights. Mm -hmm. And let's see if Invictus Gods will actually let that happen. Well, to be honest, in terms of tower destructions, if the tower destroys, I'll, I'll go with DD No Limit okay. because they have that complete set of assassins for them to pick out towers. But for for but for Invictus Gods, I think their focus is on the team fights because of that Grok as well. For sure. Uh, well, we're about to see. I think we do have our match right now. We're just waiting for the from before the and members yes. to load up. <clears throat> yes, I know. And of course, if you want to share this, share this video to your friends or to your loved ones, to your families, then don't forget to type in the hashtag be legendary. And on May 15, the squad rally tickets you can play all the heroes for on Mobile Legends for free. That's amazing, right? <laughs> so amazing. But wait, there's more if you play it on May 15 as well. You can you can win diamonds, you can win prizes for Mobile Legends. Oh. So apparently we are experiencing a mini map bug. So don't always don't completely depend on the mini map, guys. Just just wait for just look at what you're seeing the, the main map it, it, it is <laughs> it is actually like flipped out but it's okay yeah it is okay could be ooh, a little bit of a tussle here in the mid lane will van will be forced up the lane with peas actually rotating into it mm -hmm. with daniel of course executing a little bit more advantage for daniel at this specific moment while onto the bottom lane of course bottom part of the map i would say vladimir the two versus one Onto Invictus Gods. Alright, so I think we're gonna see a team fight and a Grok went in trying to kill that. that oh, Angela, but the, the thing is that the time is not that enough, enough for them to kill all those people. The Lapu Lapu tried to dish out all those people as well. But here, here Ooh. the at the bottom lane, just all those Invictus Gods are trying to destroy that turtle. But of course, DD, DD No Limit is on their way to steal that. Who's gonna get that Ooh. turtle? Who's gonna get that retribution? Lapu Lapu went Man, in. But as you can see, Lancelot, there were those skills to try to dish out all the damage right there. Hardy kills one, the first, more than killing that turtle right there. But Lancelot with the, with the, with the, with the double, oh goodness. double, double kill, it's Lancelot killing Lapu Lapu, the other guys, the three one in favor. Oh, what a wall. What the wall coming from the Grok kills, Grok kills one as well. Look at the domination that Invictus that is giving one to four by DD No Limit and Victus. My goodness, I thought for sure that DD No Limit had the upper hand when it comes to team fights, but in terms of execution, you saw how Invictus Guys was able to. You know, just take them one by one, essentially. And that wall by the Grok, that was perfectly done by Invictus Gods. I would just like to take note that the Lancelot had a time to pick up the back lines of Invictus Gods. But unfortunately, their front lines, they're really exposed. I mean, even if the Lancelot was able to take down, to take out one, there were a lot, there was a lot of damage coming out from Invictus Gods, as well as the sustain. And definitely, their crowd control was much better at that specific moment. A big lead there by Invictus Gods, 4-1. Like the, the micro management in Victor's gonna really intense on that on that on the of the map on that on that turtle as well. It's like they have everything in their, inside their pocket. They got the they got the turtle, they got the clash, they got all the team fight that they need, they got the all the all the goals that they need to put up on that fight. And then as you can see, three minutes on the clock, three minutes uh, I mean three almost three thousand gold deficit in favor of Victor's yeah. gods. It's a lot. Considering that we have only been running for three minutes and forty four seconds. That is a lot of lead, and that will actually help Invictus get snowballed in this game. And you can see the DD no limit there. They aren't even considering getting a team fight. There could be a gang squad here on the bottom side of the map. So they will try to wrap around the members of Invictus Guts. Will not be able to do so as Invictus Guts already out of there. They really knew that DD no limit will try to get a gank off, but wasn't possible because. Probably because they felt Turtle that someone was repairing that there were a lot of people rotating Our down the bottom lane. Yes, for sure, and hoping that, as you can see, IG is just destroying that turtle. And, and in terms of sustainability, as I'd go with DD no, Lim DD no Limit because of that Angela, but for sure, Grok can just absorb every damage that, can, that DD No Limit can give. Yeah. This might be because, you know, the, the thing that I noticed with the. Uh, Dini No Limit side is that they do have a lot of mobile heroes, but then again, oh, another have at that. Daniel tossed around and look at the ambush. Cho Even kills up, one. will not be enough. Cho 
Of course, that will be another kill going in favor of Invictus. As it may be they're not done yet. They want to go for Chico. Chico, oh, very low in health, will her. jump out. He will get out. Fortunately for him, is tanky, not compared to the Lancelot, but that will still give a lot of space and room for Invictus Gods to even take this mid lane. DD no limit got that. Oh, what a knock tower, But nice defensive wall there by Grox, preventing Invictus God to defend that tier 1 tower in the middle lane. But wait, there's more! <laughs> there could be more. The tussle here in the jungle. There's a lot of damage. Yanyan very low, but he will go onto the middle of everyone and he will be bursted down. Chico knocked up and tossed up. He will be ta will taking a lot of damage and he will fall even through the ultimate. And what a two-month stun coming out from Vampire, or from Ven, I mean. And that will stop Invictus Gods from getting any return kill. That will actually mean that at least Invictus Gods will have more, uh, more economic, more, more gold again yes, for exactly. their side. For Invictus Gods, their, macro ma they, they, their oh. micromanagement is that intense because of their, because of their burst damage. Also, because of Cyclops, because of ultimate mm -hmm. of Cyclops with, with that homing, uh, homing thing with with his <laughs> ultimate, and of course with that show because of his initiation that can give. Plus the defensive wall or the offensive walls that Grok can give also. Plus the follow-up damage of Harley and Mortis with us with a DPS as well. Yeah. And I think we are witnessing a two-on-two there, but nice back there by by yeah. that Mortis and that Grok trying to play safe, not not trying to be that aggressive or not trying to do Ooh. some cheeky moment. But Ake went in together with uh, with the three people <laughs> off. <laughs> DD no limit and uh, that's like a, a sad day for Harley <laughs> getting caught up on that that's blush. really good but, but as you can go. see Cho yep. went in Cho went in but there wouldn't be any connections with their ultimates and that will mean that there will be nothing or save that it will still go here Helena's very low but nice ultimate there from Ven Ven this will he will help Helena to get out and I think the rest of DD no limit will just have to back down right now as in I mean for Invictus Gods as DD no limit actually will miss all some of their crowd control but that was a nice ultimate there by Kirito. Well, as you can see, seven minutes on the clock right now. Six minutes, six thousand gold deficit. Just Lapu Lapu trying to, trying to defend or like, like push that top lane. But here you go, the stun or the hold of Cyclops is really good for that Ake just stopping his possible ultimate there. Wow, this is a very nice decision from Invictus Guts. We did mention the DD No Limit, they do have a lot of teamfight in them. And if you prevent those teamfights from happening, I think Invictus Guts are gonna have a better time. Because what they're doing right now is just group of us two, and then separate the others just to farm the cores, particularly for Invictus Guts, so that they can farm on the other side of the map, while the rest of DD No Limit, they are frantic to get a teamfight off. And this will mean that they are wasting their time, because if whenever they can't teamfight, it means that they're losing the overall battle this time, the war. There is going to be a knockoff nice onto Chico. A nice defensive wall oh. there by that ground. But the thing is, look at that damage that Cyclops is giving. Oh, Chico. The damage. The knockoff, the control. There will be an ultimate, but it will not be enough. Akai will go down. Nyan in trouble as well. As it's being singled out by the rest of Invictus Gods, they will take him out. Then you will have to dash away God. as well as Peace. Peace will get out. Fortunate for himself, will use the wall of his base. <laughs> But the rest of his members, two down on the side of DD No Limit. This All opens right. up the Lord. The thing is, Invictus God is winning because of their immense and intense, massive burst damage that Cyclops and Hardy is, give, is giving to them. It's like they can do something about it. Angela, they can help that, but it's not, but it's not that worth it. Lapu Lapu, he can help, but of course he can do something because he doesn't have any farm for for Kagura. She can, but it's not that enough. It's not enough yet, I would say, because the fact that they actually lost that initial fight, I think a lot of the advantage that Invictus Gods are enjoying right now was because of the initial fight that they had, like a 3 to 1 exchange. I mean, 4 to 1, if I'm not mistaken. 4 to 1, yes. Yeah, 4 to 1 was 4 to 1 in three, 3 minutes. That gave them so much head start yeah. in this game. They're even letting this Lord be taken down as they are slowly responding. Now, Akai's very low. Look at that. Look at that Lord. And now the Lord is now slain. But the thing is, Invictus God is on a roll right now. Ooh, maybe a split push. Probably, yes. It will be a split push as the top tower will be taken out. That is actually... Yeah, that is a top tower. As we mentioned earlier, there's a Back, there's a bug on the minimap. You're gonna have to just rely on the message of on the announcer showing us where exactly the tower, the turrets has been the thing, taken. The thing is, IG can and IG will finish this match yeah, quickly because the thing is, they can't. 
Oh, it is flipped. Sorry, it is yeah, flipped. It is flipped. <laughs> it is flipped. Don't worry, don't sorry, worry, guys. Sorry, sorry, don't worry. Sorry. It, don't it, depend it on the really, minimap. It, it is really flipped. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, so it is just, completely flipped. Okay, okay. So but meanwhile here, so look at that. Look at that Martis. Just with with that six thousand net, we're just really doing well at this uh, this map. Yeah, so much much damage, of course. The, the thing with Martis, right? That's normally people ban it. Yeah. Because the thing with Martis, if you give, give him a little bit of a head start, it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be a big problem. It's gonna be a big problem. Yeah, that's true. Right. And the thing with Lance, you're gonna have to go for the sing to single out strategy well, if you're playing on Lancelot you're gonna have to pick up the back lines and if you aren't uh, allowed to do that you're not gonna have a good time as a Lancelot well to be honest you can see this Invictus God is really having a hard time pushing all the towers be up because DD No Limits heroes can easily take out all those creatures who's incoming their their towers but mm -hmm. it's all up to Invictus Gods on how can they puncture the Great Wall of DD No Limit are they gonna wait for the right moment for them to to initiate one person or are they, are they gonna wait for 80 seconds to get that Lord to push that lane that is a question that DD, DD No Limit can answer yeah oh, gonna be a very hard question but I think for Invictus Gods they will try to take this safely like we mentioned earlier, they're still splitting the map. They're still, I mean, they're still splitting their members around the map. As you're seeing right now, there's no death ball push that's coming out from Invictus Guts despite their lead because we mentioned earlier, DD No Limit, they have a very scary team fight. And Invictus Guts, they don't want to capitalize on that. They don't want to give the advantage to their opponent at this rate because they just want to close this game out slowly and slowly and surely. As the thing is, you can see, just they're just trying to roam around the map, just trying to kill all those creeps coming their way the thing is every for the little limit can do that easily as well and just i guess they're just gonna wait for that lord to to get that head start to get that um slight advantage mm -hmm. to go to go inside that to go inside that base or just trying to wait for a lord again to mm -hmm. get another tower because the best thing they're gonna do here just destroy the lord uh -huh. just go somewhere some uh, like like any lanes that you want then one person from Invictus Gods maybe Martis can like split push to one another yeah. that is the Lord, best thing that they're gonna do in this, uh, in this game yeah I completely agree with you on that because that, what they're doing right now is just always shoving the minion waves but Kagura oh, is oh. really now dead now man you can see Harley just killing him they now have that slight advantage slight advantage to get the tower but as you can see yeah. Cyclops and Martis now just destroying that Lord with that actually they don't have a choice they need to do that they need to get that Lord to push one tower and one person just split push because that is really the best strategy or that's really the best thing that they're gonna do at this game right now yeah Ooh, completely agree with you on that one as the Lord has already been slain this will open up a lot look at this Harley actually dashing in forward and then just flickering out of there just to get out just, you know just disrupt the dd no limit defense and this will be a very hard defense from them there is going to be the lord onto the mid lane and there could be a potential for a split push like you said and because of the the fact that invictus guts are on the lead right now dd no limit they can't fight like that they can't fight in a split push way they would have to team fight as five and then try to win the battle at at that and rate you can see oh, what Harley trying to go <laughs> Ooh, trying man. to be so cocky and as you can see Marjus kills destroys that tower and now they have that they have that opening for them to go anywhere now on that bottom lane as well they're gonna push that lane now the top lane is now destroying also but nice Work by Mart is destroying that bottom lane and complete domination, total domination team by Invictus God. Kill after kill after kill plus that core and it's over for Invictus God. 1-0 in favor of Oh my goodness, that was the way to end the game. That was, I would say that's the highest probability for Invictus Gods to